Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question is Frederick What would happen with react if the corrupt and immoral company Facebook were to go bankrupt? So let's get into it. Well This uh, feels like a fairly loaded question and uh, I will try to ignore the nuances of this question uh, because if I start talking about corporate greed and how you and I and everybody else has a responsibility and the perspectives of the various parties involved in this extremely complicated question, we're going to be here all day. I'm sorry to say, maybe you want to. I mean, you're going to have me to hang out with, but I don't know. Maybe you have stuff to do. So let's try to stay on point here. So usually what happens when a company goes bankrupt is that the assets themselves, like the whatever assets they have to their name is going to be sliced up and sold off to various parties in order to pay for various, varying fees and obligations and so forth. Now for React it's highly likely that all that would happen is that it would transfer ownership to whoever would want to maintain it. So you would like Facebook or whoever is in charge of the React brand, if you will, would have a dialogue with some other third party, some organization or some group, and they would come to an agreement saying that they will take over the maintenance of the project and the continued development and all that good stuff. Another, ex another possibility is that the framework itself would die with Facebook. I don't think that would happen because that seems it's, it's a very unlikely scenario. There would be what, what would be the point. But transferring ownership for sure. I'm pretty sure that that would happen. And when, if something like that were to happen, I would, some will argue that, you know, things will just kind of be business as usual. I don't think so. Because from what I know, there's quite a lot tied into the political intrigues and the political world if you will not just in just general human society but it also in in programming you can kind of think of it as the stock market if facebook went down and their main flagship project within it is you know tied to that brand that's going to impact you such as well so it's very likely that angular would become the de facto standard for sba development and although there are people out there who would claim that maybe preact would come in and kind of swoop up the usage that, pre, uh, that React is seeing today, you have to remember what I've said in a, few a few times before. It doesn't matter if there is something out there that is better or amazing or has everything equal in every single way because um, the fact of the matter is, the guys, that s program is a, programming is just as subjective to lobbying and lobbyists as the, uh, the political games that people play and, you know, for for the stock market and so forth, you can think of it as brand stock. If React loses Facebook as a backer, a lot of companies will feel very uncomfortable about that because when you make decisions on behalf of different organizations, for a small company, it doesn't really matter so much what you pick. You should think about it more. I think you should. But for the big companies who know that, you know, they kind of want to go for one thing and they want that to be stable and then they want to run with that for a really long time because the cost of migrating stuff is very high. There's a big value in having Facebook back the React brand because they can feel stable. This is, you know, considered stable technology. They can trust that it's going to be maintained by a group that has the funds and the resources and, you know, the interest to maintain it. And if uh, you never thought about that yourself, you should really start thinking about these things because it's uh, for your own personal little project, it might be fine to depend on this little like beta, beta or alpha version of some person's library. But for a big, big, big or corporation, that's just not good enough when you start to, like, if you tie that into all of the parts within the system because if the support for that goes down or you know there's a bug and the, per the maintainer of that library isn't really maintaining things you're kind of stuck with it so politics guys they're in IT as well so what I want you to take away from this is that if Facebook was to actually fall as a company due to reasons the most likely thing that would happen for React is that the brand would transfer ownership to some other group 
and depending on the group in question you would see that at the very least the you react popularity would start to fall even just by m making the switch because remember it's a political game if something seems unstable by just default people will start to use it slightly less the person who take or the organization who takes over the project if that's a really big strong corporation or some really well founded group things might just keep on rolling for react as a framework uh, no real difference there if it's maintained by a smaller group or something like that it's very likely that the brand will pretty much fall to the point where i'm fairly certain angular would take over because of the fact that you, it has facebook or sorry it has google backing it up and these are the political games that we play in our industry so yeah that's a, pretty much how i think about it have a great day